So in this video, I want to talk about pKa trends and factors that affect acidity. So how important um, certain things are in aff affecting how acidic a certain molecule is. And so some of the factors that affect acidity are electronegativity, of atoms and stuff, um, inductive effect, the size, and finally resonance. And so first let's start off with electronegativity. And so these are not in order, so um, they could conflict and it's not necessarily ranked in order of what affects acidity the most. And so first let's talk about electronegativity. So we'll talk about this. We'll draw this. Um, H2 H H H and then F, H. So, as you can see, I've put the hydrogen in its own little box because we're going to determine the acidity of the hydrogens. So, if the hydrogen leaves, you're left with this H2 N H O F and a lone pair on the nitrogen. So when the hydrogen gets taken off, the more electronegative the atom that has the negative charge, the more stable it is. So ranking stability, um, fluorine would be most stable and then OH would be number two, NH2 minus would be number three and carbon would be number four so least stable. And what that means is the least stable it is, the less likely it's going to be formed. So um, we're always going to talk about stability of the conjugate base. So the more electronegative the atom, the more stable the conjugate base. And so here, FH would be the most acidic. Because its conjugate base is the most stable. And so I'll give you the pKa's right now. So determines how acidic it is. So FH is 3.1 pKa. Um, H2O is 15.7. NH3 is 36. And then CH4 is 60 pKa. And um, the pKa's are in red. So the lowest pKa is 3.1, represents the most acidic one, which is fluorine. And so now let's talk about another thing that will stabilize the conjugate base. So let's say you have a molecule like this, OH, versus something like this, OH. And here I'll draw in the hydrogens. And so after it gets protonated, um, each one, each molecule would look like this. Um,
And so the only difference here, I'll draw in the H's again, is the molecules at the end over here. So the atoms over here is the only difference. And so which one do you think would be more acidic? Well, in both of these, the negative charge is on the oxygen. But remember, what fluorine does, it's called, this is called the inductive effect. And so what fluorine does is, it's pretty close to the oxygen molecule. And so being very electronegative, it draws the electrons kind of over to it. Um, it doesn't necessarily change anything uh, with the electron configuration, but like it just stabilizes the conjugate base more. And so this right here would be more acidic. And if we do pKa values, this is 11.3, while this is 16. And remember, that's because hydrogen is not very electronegative. It's not going to help stabilize the negative charge on the oxygen. And now, next, we have the size of the atom. And so you'll see this when you're going down a group. And so let's say you start off with FH, CLH, BRH, and IH. And so the conjugate base is going to be, I'm just going to draw these out. And so that's what the conjugate bases would look like. And so the bigger the atom, the more spread out the charge will be and so the more stable it is and so as you know going down a group the lower you get on the periodic table the bigger it is um, the atom and so as a result the uh, IH will be more acidic because the conjugate base I minus is more stable so it'll be formed more and so let me give you the pKa's. So FH is 3.1, ClH is negative 7, and you can have negative pKa values. And so as you can see, negative 10 is clearly the lowest pKa, which means the most acidic. And finally, let's talk about resonance. And so resonance is a really important factor. So let's, let's take a molecule like this. versus one like this. And so after getting deprotonated, removing the H, they would look like this with a minus charge and then a minus charge over there. And so the difference is here is this one is capable of resonance. And so it could form structures like this, for example, here. You have that and that. And then you have a negative charge over there. And then that can go around the ring. And so the negative charge is said to be delocalized. which makes it more stable. And so if I give you the pKa's, this one over here is 60, while the one on the right is 43. And so the more resonance it has, the more stable it'll be. For example, if I gave you something like this right here, actually, if I did something like this and then added another ring here, that would make it even more acidic and the conjugate base will be more stable. And so one thing you should have taken out of this video is to understand to determine how acidic a molecule is you have to always look at the conjugate base and how stable that is.